In this video, I will discuss how to program the timers in the 8051 microcontroller for counting applications. 8051 timers can also be used as counters for counting the events that is happening outside the 8051. Here you can see this 8051 microcontroller is having a P3.4 and P3.5. These pins are correspond to timer 0 and timer 1. Whenever these uh, timers are configured as uh, counters, so the spins will are connected to the external event application and this uh, microcontroller will count uh, that uh, events. So microcontroller timer and counter uh, special function registers, these are T-mode register and uh, timer control registers and TL0 and TH0 and TL1 TH1. And these register values uh, will increment um, depending upon um, the value that is uh, coming from the external events if it is configured as a uh, counter and this value will be incremented uh, from the internal uh, crystal when it is uh, when it is configured as a timer these are the pin 14 and 15 of the um, microcontroller will be used uh, of, um, as a connection for the external application whenever the timers are configured as uh, counters this is T mode registers so whenever uh, this um, timer is configured as a counter so the C by T one bar bit of uh, the timer 0 and uh, timer uh, 1 and timer uh, 0 both need to be um, set to 1 if they are to be configured as a counters and if the bit is set to 1 it is configured as a timer and it will get the clock from the internal crystal and when the gate bit is set to um, 1 the timer or counter is enabled uh, by the external pin that is connected uh, uh, external pin uh, so i and t1 bar it should be high and at the same time the tr1 control pin is also to be high and whenever it is uh, cleared so the gate bit is clear the timer is only timer or counter is controlled only by the tr1 bit or tr0 bit so whenever the counter uh, yeah, sorry whenever the the timer is configured as counter say microcontroller counts the pulses that are coming from the pins p3.4 and p3.5 so for example if the um, timer is configured as a counter uh, um, with mode 1 so here we are considering is a counter 1 so the value of the t mode register is, uh, is as shown uh, here it is a 50x that is hexamer hexadecimal value to be loaded in the t mode register so the decon register so it is a bit addressable register so the first four bits are uh, connected to the interrupts which we will discuss uh, in the next uh, coming videos and the last four bits are used for the timer or counter uh, control and uh, monitoring bits if you see tr0 bit e is correspond to timer uh, 0 so whenever the timer or counter need to be started this bit to be set and whenever the corresponding uh, uh, um, timer or counter is overflowed this bit is set and similarly the tr1 and tf1 are correspond to the uh, timer 1 or counter 1 this is timer 0 or counter 0 operation here you can see the operation of uh, this uh, timer uh, 0 or counter 0 of the microcontroller so whenever if you see this c by t bar bit is set to 0 so it is um, the timer 0 is configured uh, as timer and used for generating uh, time delays so whenever this is as timer 0 so this uh, gets the clock from the crystal oscillator which is divided by 2 means whenever this crystal is 12 megahertz this is uh, divided by 12 which is 1 megahertz and means 1 microsecond pulses are uh, getting to this timer and whenever the tr0 bit is um, set to 1 and if the gate bit is 0 in that case the timer is started and the corresponding timer or counter is started and the corresponding values will start increment and whenever it will overflows means ff0 ff4f FF, uh, FF to 0 so a corresponding overflow flag is set so which need to be monitored and similarly whenever uh, uh, this c by t bar equal to 1 means uh, in that case it is a um, configure the timer is configured as counter then it will count the pulses from the external application means which is connected to the pin 3.4 and uh, similarly for starting the counter so the tr0 bit should be uh, 1 and gate should be 0 and then the corresponding th0 and tl0 starts incrementing 
and whenever the gate bit is uh, one the timer is started by the external pin that is i n t zero pin and and at the same time the t r zero pin should be one here we can see whenever the gate is uh, set to one so here it will be zero so for uh, log mm, this or logic uh, should be one so when when this will be one so this i n t zero pin uh, that is pin three point two should be high so it is having so whenever the gate equal to one so the timer or counter is started by the external application and this is uh, for uh, timer one or counter one operation and same thing which we have discussed in the earlier slide so whenever the gate equal to zero the timer is uh, started by setting tr1 bit high only the timer or counter is controlled by tr1 bit of the tcon register and whenever the gate equal to one so the timer is uh, controlled by the external uh, event that is this int1 pin that is pin 3.3 .3 pin should be high and also the tr1 bit should be high so this gives uh, the external control to the timer one or counter one operation this is the block diagram generally we will set the gate equal to zero which means this timer or counter is controlled uh, by the software so here uh, this is uh, c by t bar equal to one means which is configured as a counter so and whenever this um, tr corresponding tr bit of uh, the timer or counter is set to one so it start uh, this register will start incrementing depending upon the pulses that are uh, coming from the external application and whenever this register overflows this corresponding uh, tf flag is uh, set to one with this uh, we will see in the example so how this uh, tf flag should be monitored for uh, uh, the counter application this is uh, counter 1 in mode 2 so earlier it is uh, mode 1 so which is 16 bit is a mode 2 is an um, 8 bit so the timer 0 and timer 1 with external input that is a counter whenever this timer is configured as uh, counters and in mode 2 so this is auto reload mode so the value initially the value should be loaded in the th so whenever if you start the timer with this uh, tr bit so this value is automatically re reloaded into the tl and it starts incrementing in this example, we will see the operation of uh, the counter 0 in mode 1 uh, for counting application and uh, the uh, state of the TL0 and TH0 count value to be displayed on port 1 and port 2. So this is the counter uh, 0. So we are using, then, then we have to uh, configure the port uh, 3.4 and this port 3.4 is configured as an input pin because we are getting the external events into the microcontroller. So this is a counter 0 and mode 1. So this value, the value that to be loaded in the T mode is 0, 05. And then TL0 and TH0 to be set to the initial value that is it should be set to 0. And this is infinite loop and this timer is started here. And these values of the TL0 and TH0 are set to P1 and P2 and the in the while loop so we are continuously monitoring the flag tf naught and whenever this uh, flag uh, is set to one that is when it is overflowed then this uh, tl naught and dh naught overflow this flag is set and it comes out of the loop and again we are starting this process is a continuous process and this is the example so in the counter one in mode two that is auto roll reload mode to count up and the state of the tl one uh, to be displayed on the port one and this is similar to the auxiliary example as it is a counter one so we are using port p 3.5 this is related to the timer one operation so it's need to be configured as an input and it is for counter one mode two this value that to be loaded in the t mode is 60 and uh, th1 the initial value to be set is zero and we are starting the timer and the value is automatically loaded into the tl1 so and it starts is incrementing and this value is uh, shown on the port p1 and we are monitoring the value tf1 which is whenever it's overflowed it come out of the loop and this is um, uh, this process happens in an infinite loop because we have placed while one thank you for watching my video